Between 1945 and 1948, over 700 young Holocaust survivors were granted permission to come to Britain. Most of them have lost their entire families in the most evil way. The children came in five groups. The first group were looked after in Windermere, the second group in Hampshire, the third, fourth and fifth groups went to other locations, including Scotland and Ireland. Then they were placed in various hostels around the UK. 26 of these survivors went to Holmhurst House in Loughton, a large country house with expansive grounds. They stayed for two years, giving them vital time to recuperate and make plans for their future. They established the 45A Society and these young men and women would become known as the boys. 75 years on, they are returning to Epping Forest to visit a special exhibition about their time in Loughton and to reunite with each other at Holmhurst House, a place of sanctuary and hope. Never, never thought that the day would come that I would have a day like today. It's wonderful, in particular seeing this house which I lived for two years and I remember it well. So much academic study and societal preoccupation just suggests that the war ends in 1945 and it's happily ever after from there. But the survivors have gone on to live such rich lives ever since and I think it's really important that we capture those details and really capture their zest for life. There's a lot of positive memories here for the survivors and it's lovely seeing their faces today as they relive them. Today the Loughton Hostel is a family home, a magnificent family home, and the Higgins family have opened up their home to us. The local Epping Forest community has opened up their community to us and there is a renewal, a cycle of positive hospitality and it's very meaningful, it's very significant and we're really happy to be here. You ended up being one of the Loughton boys. That's right, yes. Loughton in Essex and yeah. did you enjoy your time at Holmhurst House? Oh yes, it was, we were together, was, you know, we all had the same story, the same experience and so we had so much in common. This home, this place, a place of sanctuary, a place of restoration, recuperation, but above all else, a moment where this country didn't just give heaven, it decided that it could have the capacity to gift the wealth and all of the promise that this country had to offer. What our parents went through is just unimaginable, but we see it happening in other places in the world, and they were so lucky. They were so lucky with the help of, of Great Britain, bringing them in and feeding them and housing them. And it's just a pleasure to be here. It's really heartwarming to know that such good people are around who really care about what happened. It's just so special to um, be here where, you know, my grandpa came and uh, after the war and when he first came to England. Very special for us as the third generation to actually stand where he was um, and be a part of history. Home is where your heart is. Today we've been invited into this beautiful house by two people with the biggest hearts, Wendy and Richard Higgins. There is a Yiddish expression that we use for exceptional people called Gitten as Schummers which literally means good soul. And I honestly know this so applies to you both. Today has actually made me feel very humble, you know, to, to know how much it means to so many people. Um, it's a very small gesture on my behalf. Um, I would hope other people would also do the same. I would like to thank all those involved in this project, including Alice Spicer, the Council's Community Culture and Wellbeing Team, and the Epping Forest District Museum for showcasing such an important story for our district. Supported by the National Lottery Heritage Fund, 
The project also includes creating a new children's book called His Name is Ben and an education resource pack for secondary school pupils across the UK. The work of the 45A Society and its partners is to ensure that the boy's story of strength, resilience and hope lives on. Every boy that was here made a success of themselves and if we all look at the challenges in our lives and we try and increase in light and ensure that we come out on top, then we'll all be doing our part to make this world um, a better place.